hello guys welcome to my youtube channel uh, in today's video i would like to introduce you to an endless and hauser liquid line cm42 transmitter this transmitter is usually used for liquid analysis in industry we are usually interested in the chemical properties of liquids such as uh, how acidic a liquid is or which is uh, in other words that's measuring the ph of that liquid sometimes we are interested in the conductivity of the liquid uh, sometimes how much chlorine is in a liquid especially on water treatment plants but even in in the broader industry so a liquid line cm42 is a transmitter that you can use for that purpose it can do ph can do rp can do conductivity you just connect a different type of a sensor but in front of me i have connected that cm42 transmitter to a ph probe i'm just going to introduce you to the components and their function and just an overview of how the whole setup works so on the left we have an emerson loop calibrator in this circuit we are using it as a current source so we are sourcing milliamps to my transmitter from that calibrator and then in the middle we've got a liquid line cm42 as i mentioned and then coming to the right we've got a cable this side uh, that cable is you can use it for multiple purposes, not only for ph uh, it can be used for di different types of probes and then there in front we have a ph probe and then on the other side we've got two buffer solutions those are prepared solutions with a known ph value we can use those to calibrate my ph probe all right so for the purpose of this exercise i'm only gonna focus much on the cm42 transmitter uh, Andres and Hauser instruments are usually very user friendly, I can say, uh, because th their menu is usually a bit straightforward and it helps to guide the user on what to do or what to set. I'm just going to take you through the important parts uh, of this transmitter. So, in the beginning, let's just look at the wiring. Uh, inside the transmitter you've got two cards on the left is a current is an amplifier card and then on the right is a sensor card so my ph probe this side has got four wires and those four wires are connected to the card on the right two of them are supply it's a positive and the negative for supply and the other two is the communication which is the feedback back back from the sensor and then on the right we've got an amplifier card normally uh, most uh, sensed signals are usually very small so you need a form of amplification so that you can amplify it to a, a larger value that the plc or the controller can read because remember in a normal setup the output of this controller will be going to a plc but in this case we just used an, a loop calibrator just to power it up but it's also sending back the same information. If you can notice the same 6.5 pH you're seeing that side, I'm seeing it on my transmitter, also with the current value. Okay, but we're not gonna use the loop calibrator because in we can actually use the loop calibrator to set up the parameters of this thing, but because I'm interested in the CM42 transmitter in this video, I'm just gonna go through the CM42 directly. Okay. Now let's get, enter the menu. I already showed you the wiring that all uh, the four wires are going to the sensor. Then the two is the current output. That's the only thing we need to be concerned about in terms of the wiring. And then the menu, you, you use this button as, as an enter and also to scroll. Let's, okay. So if you look at the menu at the bottom, we've got CAL, uh, which is calibration. We've got DIAC, which is diagnosis. That's where you can see the errors and set up under setup you can set up the range and some other parameters okay you can use this button to scroll to the left or to the right and to enter but you can also use these buttons to press like car is straight with this one tag and then that's more like help 
Okay. Another thing uh, I think I missed when I was explaining in the beginning, this pH probe can is also equipped with a temperature measuring functionality because we know from chemistry that pH is related to temperature. So now it is also important that the pH probe also gives you that I'm getting this pH value at that temperature. So the two are related. So this, but you do get pH probe that it will only give you the pH value and not the, the temperature. But for this one, and this transmitter is, is also equipped with the functionality to provide us that value. So let's just get, go quickly to the calibration. Maybe you are here for in this video just to see the calibration. With the curl, we can do, we press the curl, press and hold. And then you see, because the, the, the transmitter can detect that we or, already connected a pH probe, uh, if we had ORP, it was going to give us ORP, but because of the terminals that we connect our stuff in, the transmitter can tell us we've got pH with the transmitter functionality. Now, you enter under pH, and then we've got two options. You can do one point or two point calibrations. We normally do two points. So let's say we've got a buffer solution that is 7 and a buffer solution that is 10 on the side. So we're going to enter there. And then after entering, we're going to insert our probe in the first type of a buffer, um, which is a buffer 7. And then once we insert that probe inside buffer, and then we, we say continue, it's going to measure that pH. In other words, we are teaching our probe that the, the, the buffer solution you are measuring, when you measure so much acidity or so much reaction, that means it's a buffer 7. And then we also going to insert a buffer for after we are done with this one we do the second point which is can be done with a buffer 12 or a buffer 4 and then once it's done you have done with your calibration for your probe and then you can insert your probe in your process and then it can be able to measure all other ph values but for the sake of this exercise i just wanted to show you where do you find these values now let's just abort this thing and go back to other important settings that I want you to know and want you to keep to remember. Uh, let's just escape. Okay, things this side. Then es you can also do a temperature calibration. Obviously, with this one, you're gonna insert your probe one point. Uh, let's say you have got a known temperature value. Let's say boiling water is 100 degrees. You insert your probe, you tell it that is 100 degrees, and then it records that value. Then it can measure other values. But we're not going to do that for now. I just wanted you to see where that is. And then let's go back, back to the measurement. Measure is just like your main menu. And then diagnosis is when your instrument has got errors. It can tell you cable error, sensor error, uh, current card error, and uh, yeah. And then on the setup, that's what I'm actually interested in. I want us to go to setup. And then on the setup, we will set up the current output of this probe. So the current output of this probe uh, is basically your range. So you, you can see this one where we've set up that the range is 0 and to 14 pH. You can change that value depending on where your instrument is being used. But what is important, this range should also match the range of your controller or your PLC. Okay, that's it for now. Uh, I don't want to over uh, to provide uh, more than is necessary. But other as you go through other menus, like I said, Enders and Hauser instruments, they use basic English. So if you get to the settings, it will just explain what you need to be doing. But there is also a manual that you can download online. You can just say CM42 liquid line. You get through the other details. Uh, for example, how to wire it if you in case you miss uh, the wiring part. Uh, so this is a very versatile and useful uh, liquid analysis instrument, easy to use and it's straightforward. Um, I just hope that from this video you learned something and if you have got any questions you can drop them under comments and please do like the video and subscribe and you can also check my other videos under my channel where I'm covering in, in other instruments like pressure, temperature, uh, level, and other related electronic stuff. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your day. Goodbye.